Right. It's Fahrenheit. Let's just check this is working. As is the custom. Okay, I guess it's time to get this going. I don't remember where I was up to last time. I remember there just being a horrendous number of QTEs and now I need to turn the volume down because it's too loud on here. That's better. Okay, anyone watching, can you hear me? That's the what I want to know. Because if you can, then I can start. Good. Hey, Nederben. Okay, let's um, let's get on with this. Hey, Mr. Shasma. Right, we've got the museum. Now, I think I'm going here because I'm going to see this guy about a book, from what I remember. Let's check it Professor out. Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been Reasonable. waiting for you, young man. What um what paper did you say you write for once again? Uh, uh freelance. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. Good answer. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Uh, have we met somewhere before? Ah, uh, you just saw me on TV because uh, I murder people. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kweknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. What? To the actual... Oh, that's weird. Is there anything to read? No. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Okay. Uh, let's find out about could the other world. Could you explain this other world? Or the world beyond our own, the <laughs> well, of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. Let's talk about Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. I hope not. Handy, isn't it? Right next to it. This painting, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial <laughs> ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority yeah, like this being game. to Am keep right? the right? open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times. Each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. 
Hey, Archimedes. The Oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd. Totally this person. I may need your assistance again tonight if this goes badly. The Oracle takes Get that guide ready. Of the executor, what was that name event? I can't remember. What happened to the executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. Oh dear. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? What gave me away? My name is John Cunningham, and I am indeed a journalist, as I've already told you. I think I've taken enough of your time, Professor. Thank you for the information. Oh, it's hard to leg it. As you wish. It's a shame, though, that you won't tell me more. Now, if I were you, I'd leave here by the employee's exit. The security guard's been reading an article showing your photo, and I'm afraid that he may soon... Uh, well, he's figured it out. You. Thank you for your help, Professor. Right, I saw a card up here. Can I uh, get that before I... Oh, no, the music's going bad. Why is he telling him? He just said that he'd help him out by doing that. What's going on? Don't move. What happened yeah, there? The Turn around, slowly. And that's how my story ends. That doesn't make any Accused sense because he said to him, commit. "You can go through the employee's it place." The police to connect me with the murder of yeah, so you don't John attract Winston. the guard. Yeah, and then he just went right true. up to the guard and said, "That guy over there's the killer." What? What's that about? Oh no! I don't want to do this again. That's ridiculous. Professor Kuryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. Oh. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information oh. for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes. I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? We've already done this. I'm freelance. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar. I can't me. believe that they're making uh, me go through this again. Before? Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I just like the joking animation. I have one of those good. boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at <laughs> it. Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kuwaknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. <laughs> That's pretty good, Mr. Shaswell. I will be very suspicious you if that happens. You, the ancient Mayan god Kuwaknitlan, the second <coughs> two heads. In this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, yeah, I know you can see into another mystical whatever. We know this into the other world. Ah, uh, what are the thoughts? One serpent with two heads, face to face. The same image I cut into my forearms. Was it? What would you need to do to get the serpent to open its two mouths? A human sacrifice, of course. The liberated soul then opens oh, the I've already established this and fact. Thus, the oracle can use this serpent channel to see into the other world. What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. They were very mysterious. They served as so why would you cut it off at that point? You know, like make you go through all this again. Connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the he must have just really thought this was really worth listening to again. Powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? 
Some passages mention a supernatural life force permitting okay. the Oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony more. work? Come, I'll show you. Oh, can't I just leave now before it before he goes and grasses me up to that security guard? If I fail again, that's just ridiculous. That's not going to happen. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. He still doesn't look impressed. The victim's I don't know. must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as I mean, long for anybody as who's just joining, it's okay. You'll get to see this again in just a moment. Three times. Because this guy's going to grasp me up, even though he said he'd try and help me. Leading to the heart. How did the ritual sacrifice work? Oh, the oracle. I was trying to get that card. Can you see the one in the like, bottom right and corner of the screen? That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd. Totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. Oh, this is no more interesting this time. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? Uh, let's tell him the truth, see if it makes a difference. My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? What? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I've never seen Should've before lied. three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible. Uh, let's show him my forearms. Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Quetnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing the sacrifice. So, it is true. My God. Well, the maybe he's just a fanboy right. for that stuff. The Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security oh, it seems guard like... is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here. And I'll tell you all about it. Oh, it seems um that was what I was supposed to do. So last time I did the wrong thing. Right, well, let's just get out of here. Learned a valuable thing there from a David Cage game. Tell the truth. Thank you for your help. Professor. I can feel, I can sense a QTE coming. Oh no. Oh, right, okay, here we go. Concentrate. Don't look, at the, don't look at the chat, don't look at the chat. Oh no, not this one again! over now surely oh another one oh my goodness this is insane again it's insane That's gotta be it. That's it, we'll play coolly. You are Neo. Professor! The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. A prophet. The answer to all of life's questions. The Oracle kills to find the child. <laughs> Why is he anxious? He should be pretty pleased that he just pulled off all those moves. Oh dear. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know why he's upset. He should be pretty pleased with that. Oh dear. Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? The chroma. You have the chroma. So that explains it. Ah, uh, this is baffling. Power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Uh, okay. Why do I have to die? I pose no threat to you. The sacrifice has created a link between our souls. Each time that I look through the serpent, you see what I see. The only way to break the link is for one of us to die. Um, okay. This is some that kind of then? dream, isn't it? You're not really there in front of me, are you? He's sharp. <laughs> Reality is a notion that doesn't have any meaning where I come from. We are not really here, and yet you will die here. Believe me, uh -huh. this world is just as real as your own. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. Enough talk. Time for a QTE. see each other again. In the other world. So that's the thing, Luke Cage. I don't remember any of this at all. Right, okay. Uh, I was right. It's another QTE. Again, concentrate, concentrate. I don't even know what's going on, I'm just staring at these to make sure I don't mess up. Oh, this is so stressful. And not in, I mean, not in a good way, just in a kind of like, couldn't I have done this in a better way? Everyone in the wheelchair. Agatha, but how? Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl, a perfectly pure that soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and I don't put her someplace safe. in my dreams. Hurry. In the game. There isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. Well, there you go. I've survived it. I'm surprised by that. I must inform you that we are unhappy. What? Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. He's got into QTE overdrive. You showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the chroma? I know not. But it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious, very serious. That is not all. 
Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the Indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. Why am that I doing a QTH for this? A disaster. Cain is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. Well, I got a, got a trophy for that. I'm not entirely sure why. Sleazy hotel. I love a sleazy hotel. The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment Lucas? to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. We should wait, Carla. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. The desk guy swore to us that he was in his room and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 360. Why would his mother be in a phone booth? Right, have I got to escape? Is that the, the plan here? Oh no, it's already... Okay, I can't do that, it seems. Oh, this is going to be how my story ends, isn't it? The police. They're here in the hotel. Well, how do I get out of here? Oh, it's so jerky. What about that? Don't lay down! What do I do? What do I do? The window seems to be the only way out of here. Okay, I need help. I don't know what is going on here. Turn the TV on. The calling anyone's going to help. Up. Hello, my son. What? <coughs> I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Where's the telephone? How can you hear it all that way over there? Who's that on the wall? Where's the phone? Why is it next to the computer? What's happened? Where is he hiding? What is going on? Marcus! No! I don't know what all that was about. That's the end of my story. Okay, okay. They say Obviously I've got to try that again, but I have no idea what that was about. Right, so we know now I've got to make the phone call. Oh, what's he doing? Pick up, Marcus, pick up. Hello, my son. Who's he talking to? Oh, he's I'll talking to that. Just right, okay, I know. I he's just need to, to answer the telephone. Right, leg it. Where is the phone? Can anyone see the phone? Because I can't see any phone. 
Oh, fuck. What? Where is he hiding? Oh. Marcus, no! That's the end of my story. They say I went completely off the rails and that I'm not responsible for my actions. They locked me up at Bellevue Asylum for the rest of my days. I'll never know what really happened in the restaurant because in the eyes of the world, I'm just a dangerous lunatic. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what do I do here? Can someone help, please? Maybe I'll try, okay, I'll try talking to the guy instead. You know, that's probably gonna end badly. Pick up, Marcus, pick up. Hello, my son. What can I do for you? Sir, can I help you with something? Okay, that's, that's not going to work, is it? There we go. Is he so it's pretty clear I need to try and find this phone, but I don't know where the phone is. again. Is there anything else I can do here? I mean, it says TV as well. What happens if I put the TV on? Kennedy and Newark airports were shut down today. All flights are cancelled for an indeterminate period due to the massive cold wave, which has... That didn't help. Just wasted some time. So I need to find the phone, but where Marcus, is the phone? Up. Hello, my son. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. He's over there. Where's the telephone? Oh, for fuck's sake! If I change the other Three, character. Six, nine. Here it is. It's the wrong room number. It's the wrong room number. Well, what's the point in changing to these characters? It's the wrong room number. It's the wrong room number. It's the wrong room number. Wrong room number. It's the wrong room number. Come on, Luke it's Cage, you gotta help me number. out here. What am I supposed to do? It's the wrong room number. It's the wrong room number. There's a telephone here, but that doesn't help. It's the wrong room number. What Either the hell? He's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. <laughs> Shit! What the hell happened? <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> a slight misunderstanding. Oh dear. 
My brother's in danger. I don't, I don't know. Right I, away. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. This is absolutely absurd. <laughs> <sighs> Where is he hiding? Oh. <laughs> right, okay, let's try this again. Oh, I was wanted. Do you know what I'm saying? I might go back to Carla and try that again because that was really funny. Oh, my head. Right. Three, six, nine. Here it is. I've got to try that again, because that was well funny. Nobody move! <laughs> Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. It's Shit. definitely not him. What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Yep. My brother's okay. in danger. I've got to warn you right away. Right, let's uh Oh dear. <laughs> it did look a bit like him, didn't it? <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Hello, my son. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Right, let's go. Lick it. It's right there. It's right there. Of course, it's right there. Saint Paul's Cathedral. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas, is that you, Lucas? It is. What's going on? Uh, t t t no time. I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you. Just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it now. Can I just? How do I get out of here then? How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, for f I have to do that again now, aren't I? Where is he hiding? Getting closer every time. But. Oh. Marcus! No! It's gonna make me do it again, isn't it? It's gonna make me do it again. My story. Pick up, Marcus, pick up. Oh, I never want to see this scene ever again. Hello, my son. I'll be I just need to answer the telephone. Phone's there. We've established that. Saint Paul's Cathedral. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas, is that you, Lucas? What's what going to do now? I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you. Just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it now. So it seems to be hinting that the door was over there, but I went over there and nothing happened. What do I do? Look, okay, seriously, what do I do? Because I can't, there's nothing there. Where is he hiding? Oh, how many times have I done this now? Marcus, no! That's the end. Which which door? Oh. I'm stuck. Pick up Marcus. 
things pick up. Hello, my son. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. <sighs> I'm gonna be here all night. It's one of those things of it. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? No time. I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what the I say. The doors are shut. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it, now! Can I lock this door? Right, okay. Now what? What do I do now? Do I talk to him again? All right, I'm locked in. Now, can you explain what's going on? Call the police and don't come out until they get there. Lucas? Three, six, nine. Here it is. Oh, we've already established. Oh, I've got to do this. He was desperate to have this scene in, wasn't he? Because look, you're forced to do it. He's lost a bit of impact this time, look. Nobody move! <laughs> he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think well, it is a sleazy a hotel, I guess. Tyler, it was the wrong room. Yeah, I'll say that. Huh? Another room 369 down the hall somewhere. Ah, he's long gone. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. It's gone on Spider Man now. I don't know how he did that, but he seems to now be able to stick to walls. That's an interesting ringtone for a phone like that. That phone's got no cable. Joking. So please, don't delay. Otherwise he would have just wrapped himself around in it. <laughs> Gotta say, that was one of the better bits of, uh, of the game so far. Let's see, it was not. The fun fair. I don't remember any of this. I'm moving towards my death. Everything that I've been through second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me to this moment. I was tired of fighting, running and hiding all the time. I was losing anyway. There was only one thing left to do. Try to save Tiffany's life. After that, I decided not to fight my destiny anymore. I'm pretty certain that whatever is... Is good. Why is she there? I bet this is going to involve a QTE, isn't it? The roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. Oh, it's that music again. Indicates I've got to do it quickly. Oh, man, this is incredibly jerky. And I'm stuck. Lucas! Lucas, help me! I'm stuck. Actually stuck. I'm stuck with... Oh, for... I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't get out of this. It's stuck! Okay, what am I going to do? I'm just going to have to quit it, aren't I? And then just reload it. 
because I'm stuck on a piece of scenery. Oh, for... Look at it, all jerking around. Okay. Right. Stop. Yes. And then we'll try again. She's at the top of the roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. Did this come out? No, it did. There was definitely analog controls by this point. But it's just incredibly jerky. Like, look at it. Frame rate's terrible. I can't see where I'm going now. Where am I at? It's the camera's zoomed round and it's not where I want it to be because now I don't know where, where I've been and where I'm going. Lucas, help me! Oh, shut up. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Is that another page? No. I get the feeling I've seen that guy somewhere before. <coughs> he was the one outside the uh, the bar, wasn't he? Lucas! Lucas, help me! Right, so this is where I got stuck. So the lesson is don't get stuck again. Where do I go? Lucas! Lucas, help me! I can't. I don't know where, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Last time I went up there, I got stuck and had to reset the game. Because it won't let me go any further here. There's no prompts. Cameras all over the place. Lucas! Lucas, help I really regret playing this game. Like, proper regret playing it. Because, I mean, I, I had a fond, quite a fond memory of it, to be honest, stupidly. And now this is just, it's totally ruined. Oh, that's handy. Which stairs? I can't see any stairs. Oh, I could control. I didn't realize I could do that. I'm pretty certain I wasn't supposed to take this long to do this. Lucas! Lucas, help me! Which wall? I can't see. Oh. oh, I'm close to bidding this off, I'll be honest. Lucas! Lucas, help me! Which tracks? I can't see what I'm supposed to be doing. This music has looped so many times that it's like confused. Is it this way? That's the way I've just been, isn't it? Lucas! Lucas, help me! I can't, I can't even help myself. Oh, hang on, what was this? What's that done? Okay. Oh, Lucas! Lucas, help me! 
I'm on the way, don't worry, I'm getting into it. Right. There we go. Should be a fun ride. <laughs> Safety first. That was a pretty good ride. Right, here we go. This is definitely going to be a QCE. I feel it. Go away, Lucas! It's a trap! They're going to kill you! Oh, what a surprise. Oh, no, this is definitely going to be a QCE. Yep, get ready. Oh, press the items and to maintain the cursor in the centre. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and that's almost all the ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh. Right, okay. This is going to get stupid. I'm serious. Oh. Right, here we go. I'm never going to get across this. Look at it. No, no, no! Whoa! Oh. That's how my story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. I've never. F uh. Right, okay. Let's try again. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Whoa! Right, okay. Chen, can you help? No, seriously, can you is. can you try? Officially, can you at least try it. Suicide. Why? I'd never find out the truth about what really happened to me in that restaurant on that cold January. I'm never going to be able to do this because I don't know. What... I'm never going to be able to do this. What well, I tried not rapidly pressing them, and it still fell. I don't. It see. Pressed it in one yeah, direction and he suddenly fell off. Officially they oh, I've got such a headache. Oh. Oh, but but right, I started to get the hang of that then. But then one yeah, false move and you you've had it. It's quite a long thing to get across that. This is going to take a very long time. Right. I could do this. I can't do this. What I learned from that is that you don't press it more than once. All right. Absolute silence. I had to do it. What now?
with moments. What? Oh no. Okay, who am I doing? Am I gonna do Lucas or the Oracle? Any does it matter? Does anyone care at this stage? That was depressing. Alright. He is dead, my lords. Good. Very good. Now you must find the go indigo child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The, the visions sequence. are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got a position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. Okay. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral spinal activity. I think he's dreaming. Oh, oh, we're young Lucas again. Let's train us. So it's funny because my memory of this was that, you know, it was a pretty good game up until the end where it all went sort of mystical and crazy and rubbish, right? But it turns out that all that mystical crazy stuff is in it from the beginning, like pretty much. Who is that? Wake up, Marcus, it's time. Hurry up, we don't have much time. <coughs> Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? Doubtful. And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. I do, I do vaguely remember this, and I remember it taking many attempts, which doesn't bode well, because that was ages ago. Again, shooting Don't little shoot, kids. Sir. We're just kids. We're the cane boys. What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. You're crazy, Lucas. We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts. You do what you want, Marcus. Sir. I'm going back. This way. No, Don't move or I'll shoot. Fortunately, we didn't see them having to beat their butts. That's good. Oh, for. Don't move or I'll shoot. You can't move quick enough. What? Don't move or I'll shoot! Oh, how am I supposed to avoid that? Don't move or I'll shoot! Oh. 
see. Don't move or I'll shoot. What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. We've been over this already. Any ideas? Because as soon as I do that, I get caught every time. Don't move or I'll shoot. Can I go this way? I'm getting angry. I can't see when they're not looking. I can't see where they are. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! The circle button just brings up the map closer. That's it. I mean, all I've managed to do so far is get... I figured maybe I can go this way. And then I don't get caught. But then as soon as I go over there, I get caught. I can't see on the radar if they're looking or not. And if I try it, like, I'm just going to get caught again. Here we go. Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't move or I'll shoot. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to get around this. If you turn, if I immediately turn right here, then I just get caught because the searchlight. I can't. Look, if I could do this, get caught straight away. Or do I? Right, so does this mean I've now got to get across here when they're not looking? Presumably. But I can't see if they're looking or not. See, at the moment, to me, it looks like they're not looking. No, now they are, just as I started to move. Leg it. Right, where am I now? Right, so this seems to be suggesting I need to go this way. A soldier, quick, let's hide. Hide where? Don't oh, move or I'll shoot. I need to. I'm starting to get better then. Oh, now I've got to do this again. Of course. Right. A soldier, quick, a time. Right. Let's go and hide behind that jeep then.
Right, I presume I'm sort of safe to go now. Right, so somehow I've got to get across here without being seen. We can't go any further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. Presumably that one of us is, means me. What's that? Who was that? Who moved? Oh, this is horrible! Oh, Double this is horrible! Shoot. What the hell are you doing out here in this oh. hour? Because the trouble is, is it's all like jerking all over the place as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's... Okay. Respect. At least it's not making me do it right from the beginning again. Alright, go on. Let's just chuck whatever this is. You just run with him, an idiot. Why am I controlling him now? being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. Really? That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, there's also no way you'd be able to, to climb up that. The other way. Meanwhile, I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you going to get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. Right, so what am I doing? Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this Not that, obviously. It is rubbish, Bitstoad. What do I do? Can I start the Jeep up? No. Okay, can someone tell me what to do? Why because otherwise I here don't here want to be here all night. I've already feel like I've been playing this game for about 10 hours. What do I do? Don't move Not or that, shoot. again, obviously. What the hell are you doing out here? Come on, Luke Cage, you've got, you've got to help me out here. Oh, hang on. Right, okay, okay. There we go. It's all up to you, Lucas. It's gonna make me do that thing. I'm gonna have to climb up this. It's gonna make hey, me do like I did the other what day. Do you think you're doing there? This is gonna involve like about 30 QTEs, isn't it? Yeah. 
he was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. Oh. Oh, I'm screwed. Look, here we go. From this angle, it's really difficult to see. Yeah, it's really shoot. difficult to see when you should move or not. Don't move or I'll shoot. <sighs> I know it was a long time ago. I know. Right. But I can't believe anyone thought this was good back in the day. I can't believe I thought it was good. Why would you have searchlights just over, just over this bit only? Why? So let's put some searchlights over these poles just in case somebody tries to. Oh, I've got a. To... Oh, I thought it was going to make me do it again. Right, so I'm presuming. Just leg it up here, yeah? No! What has this got to do with the rest of the game? I'm hoping we're soon about to find out. It's funny they've got such lack of security. Oh, see, again, it's doing that thing where the control has changed. What happened there? Fun. When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> See, what they could have done better in this... Well, there's a lot of things they could have done better, but... One of the things they could have done better in this is they could have built like a better relationship between the police and Lucas. Like the fact that they are chasing him and there's like a relationship that's built there, but there's none. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. Uh, let's be trusting. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. Call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself it's with the rough. official version. It's because he's dead You're up here. You? Because you think I might have the answers to oh, your here questions. Oh, we go, here we go. Right. That's weird. No 
steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his He's breath dead. was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from Sounds anyone plausible. who sees him. Why does he want to kill all of these people? He's using the ritual to find a little girl, the indigo child. Why does he want this little girl? I'm not sure. All I know is that the child is very special and that the fate of humanity depends on her. The Oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. Their power you has no limit, the although they have still have to you get people like about Lucas them? to do murders for them. I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Oracle clan. It is unbelievable. But his story is consistent. No, it's not. It seems to fit with what I already know. Nope. Um. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. Sure. What about all of these dead people around you, Lucas? What happened to Tiffany? And that old woman, Agatha? The Oracle wanted to eliminate me. I had become Agatha was just old. To him. He wanted to keep Agatha from talking, and he used Tiffany to draw me into a trap. Here we go, Ken. All of these deaths, he talks about them with no emotion, as if nothing mattered to him anymore. Um. Okay. How did you learn all of this? I just know that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Why not? Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. That was pretty stupid. Because actually. if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the Why entire planet. Why would she have guided? What? Okay. Why would she have any trust for him whatsoever? Right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does. We can definitely and go to QTE. Safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, well, then it'd be too late. Insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here. It is. So arrest him. Saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. Oh dear. So either you're crazy or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. His hand. It's as cold as ice. Okay, what well, about I didn't get a choice? What do I do? Do I stop here? Should I stop? Do I keep going? I think I want to stop. I think I want to stop. It, I, I think I want to stop. I don't think I can play anymore at the moment. I mean, I don't know how close I am to the end either. Um, yeah, I think I'll stop. I can't, I can't continue with this now. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night and I'll have to come back to this because um, I can't play anymore. Uh, I've got a headache and oh, I've got a headache. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, 
this will get finished. It's definitely going to get finished. I mean, I've got through surely the worst QTEs now. Surely out behind me now. I can't imagine they're going to get any worse than that. And we've got to find out what young Lucas found in that uh, in that hangar. So uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I'll be back. This will get finished. But thanks. And um, yeah, see you guys later.